So can you see the regret in my eyes already? <laughs> Today, I've decided to cut my own hair and I've got no idea what I'm doing. So one of the downsides of lockdown is that everyone now has completely wild hair. If you're watching this with an entire dog on your head, I feel you, I'm with you. And I've been trying to put off cutting my own hair for a while. I was like, no, you know, I could just style it out. Mullets could be cool again. The thickness is great. We might have a second ice age. It'll be nice and toasty. A three meter quiff. What could go wrong, mate? But no, today's the day. I can't handle it anymore. In case you didn't notice, I also dyed it in preparation of doing this. I went with blue black, which is kind of just black, but when the sun hits it, you get a little tinge of Smurf coming through. I talked about how <laughs> ridiculous my hair has got on Twitter. Eva said this is going to be me by the end of lockdown. See, I would love to look like a long swishy thaw, but I would just end up looking like this, which we have real life <laughs> evidence of. Seth Everman told me to shave it off, which I was kind of into because he looks so cool. But then Taylor replied with this, which has <laughs> traumatized me to the core. At first I was just gonna do this with kitchen scissors, but then I thought, no, <laughs> if I'm gonna give myself the best shot, I need to get some tools. So I've got a professional barber laser, laser, <laughs> razor, razor, <laughs> with, bits that you slot on and then you can make your hair different lengths. If I end up looking anything like the guy in the box, we're in for a winner. And then this sexy black toolkit, which has ultra sharp scissors and <laughs> I'm gonna stab my penis off. And these crocodile looking things, which I think are thinning scissors. Kind of tempted just to do that all over and see what happens. Also came with this brown cloth, which I'm assuming is to dab the blood off your neck. And this random piece of metal, which I'm guessing is for stabbing your eyes out if you hate the haircut loads. Oh yeah, I've got this hairdresser's poncho as well, which I should put on. Is that backwards? <laughs> I look very much like a vampire right now. I think this is good if you're not cutting your own hair. Ugh. I feel like it's strangling me. No, I hate it. I don't care. I've got a big mirror here. Hello. And a monitor here. So with all that, how can we go wrong? I mean, all my other crafting projects have gone <laughs> swimmingly. Okay, now I'm holding this in my hand. I'm starting to panic. I don't know what adjustment thing to put on. What we got? Ah! No, not yet. Steven. I've got six millimeters. That's only half a centimeter. That seems short. I might do 10 millimeters to start. So then we got more to work with. I'm so scared. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Should I just grow it out? Should I just cancel the video? No, it's too late. It's too late. We're in too deep. Right, I've got the thingy on. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Right, I'm gonna look at myself. I'll just do a little bit. I'm just gonna do a little bit. You do it like this way, right? Like that, I'll do it this way. Oh. 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 It's happening. This reminds me of when I was a kid and I was scared to get a haircut because I thought it would hurt. I'm feeling that vibe now. <laughs> it's not immediately made me bald. This is the aftermath of <laughs> what I just did. That is looking thinner without too much of a disaster. Maybe we could go thinner. I'm getting confident now. <laughs> right, I'm trying six millimeters. Oh, that is taking quite a lot off. Should you have done this? Oh no, it's looking like monk hair now. Why am I still doing it then? Oh Christ. Oh God, so there's a very definite line there. I'm gonna have to even that out somehow. It's already less bulbous now. <laughs> this side. So now I look wonky. I'm gonna do the other side the same length and pray to all of the gods out there. This is so intense. So much hair is falling out. Oh, this side is looking bad. Oh no. Oh, what? Why has it done that? What the frick is going on there? <laughs> it's like, why is half of it blue and half of it not? It looks all right on the camera, but close up. <laughs> Mistakes are being made on this side. What have I done? It looks like an animal has taken a bite out of my head there. <laughs> what is that? They should put that in a science book for unusual hair phenomenons. I'm gonna power on, it's all right. This is gonna be satisfying. Time to die, mullet. Oh God. You see that? That's how much of a mullet I had. That still looks insane, what's happening? Right, I'm gonna try and... <laughs> I'm gonna try and sort this out. I'm making it worse. Why isn't it doing what my hairdresser does? I'm very stressed about this situation. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Oh, I need to do my sideburns. What's going on there? Maybe the thinning scissors will help if I just... I can't believe I just did that. Ooh, okay. We're losing some volume. I'm not sure this is working. Okay, actually the dent is less now. Ugh. That's kind of doing the job. How, how long should I do it for? Thin. I've got so much hair going down my back, I should have worn the poncho. <laughs> okay, progress. Doesn't look like I've got a dent in my head anymore. That's gone from a disaster to just kind of bad. 
which I can deal with. I no longer look like a monk. I just look like someone that fell into a hedge trimmer. So <laughs> I can deal with that. Right, let's try and thin this side. <gasps> no! I used the wrong scissors. Why did they make them look the same? It's like they want that to happen. Let's thin this. Are these the right ones? Yeah. Let's thin this side. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of doing flourishes and hoping it's good. Flourish. This side is great. I'd give this like a B. This side is still a bit of a D minus. Ah! Lost three toes. Oh, why is this side going so well? And the other side just looks like a toilet. Okay, I'm no hairdresser, but that is looking... All right, <laughs> I was gonna say good, but <laughs> I'll be honest. Right, I'm gonna try taming these unkempt sideburns now. Oh, that's short. Is that too short? It's too late now. I feel like that was too short. <laughs> I did it on 1.5. I thought that'd be all right, but I basically shaved them off. I've given myself like a sideburn fade. The hair's completely gone. Oh no, come back. Right, let's try and shape this absence of a <laughs> sideburn. Wait. Um, okay. Nothing I can do about that. <gasps> Breathe and move on. All right, I'm over that mistake. I'm not really, but let's just keep going. The top is so long, but I, I don't know if I should just like take the scissors to it or just do the thinning thing again. Right, I'm gonna do the thinning first and see what it looks like. Here we go. This feels so wrong. Where are we at? Oh, so much is coming out. Maybe I don't need the other scissors. This is kind of working, actually. Look, it's not as long. If I just start, like, snipping it like this. Oh, no. Why did I do that as an example? Can we stop this from being so erect? I look like freaking Dipsy from the Teletubbies. Stop it. What if I just chop that bit off? Oh. Oh. It's gone. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. I might just chop up into this to try and make it a less severe line. Oh my god, that's working. Kind of. Not really. But whatever. Oh my god, look how much hair I've removed. <laughs> that's just one of the clumps on my shorts. Right, I'm gonna do the back of my head and then we can try the quiff. Okay, how long have I had this rat tail at the back of my head? <laughs> Why did no one tell me? I'm kind of tempted just to grow it and plait it. It's time to die, rat. <gasps> this feels incredibly wrong, but I'm just gonna do it. Here we go. Oh, there's so much hair back here. Oh God, I've trimmed the rat. That looks all right. That looks all right. All right, the thing I'm the most nervous about is the quiff. Cause it's actually looking all right now. That I feel like I've done an okay job, but this is still too big. I'm just not sure what to do. <laughs> I think the best method actually might be to de-quiff and then maybe cut into it like this. Oh, emo Phil is rising. This is a blast from the past. I'm gonna comb it down. Uh, I'm so nervous. Please don't F up. I'm pretending like I've got a method here, but I'm just randomly chopping bits off and hoping for the best. Oh, that looks a bit severe. Oh, it's still, still quite long. Please don't end badly. Every cut is causing me physical pain. Ah, no, oh, ah, no, okay. That's all right, that's all right, that one's all right. Can't handle this. Eee! How much is too much? I'm freaking out, is that okay? Is that still too tall? Should I snip this off? No, no, yeah, no, ah! Okay, that's all I can handle, <laughs> I need to leave it at that. I've given it a trim. It's not as short as I'd normally have it, but I'm scared I'm gonna destroy myself like I did my sideburns. I think that can last me another month. And by then, hopefully, I'll be allowed to have a haircut again. There is like an entire cat on the floor. Look at that. <laughs> Can't believe all of that has come off my head. All right, we've got this random super blue bit at the side with a long bit hanging out. The back is an unparalleled disaster. <laughs> what is going on with this patch? Why is it so many different lengths? I don't know what to do about that. And it's got this line that goes all the way around the side. And then this bit. Hello. I don't know how I missed that. And then the top, I just can't make it flatten down. So I guess I'm stuck with this bit forever. This side's a bit dodgy, look a bit like a monk, kind of fix it with the physic, fizzing, fizz, thinning? Well, thinning scissors. This side's looking quite swish. Quiff, I was too nervous to chop more off. Could have been a disaster. It's okay. And I feel less like a dog is on my head. Now it's more like a small rat. I mean, comparing them there, I think it does look better. So overall, I'm gonna give myself a C minus. Could do better. So. Give me a thumbs up. 
if you enjoyed this. Maybe it convinced some of you at home to tame your manes. I hope it goes well. I would not recommend doing it by yourself. Also, you might have noticed my amazing fill shop is now directly beneath this YouTube video. So if you want to grab some merch, it's never been easier. You can just click something that you like. Make yourself a little bit more cozy. All right, I'm going to go hoover this hair apocalypse. Uh, thanks for joining me on this little adventure. I hope you're all good. I hope you're healthy. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.